That's right. All right. That's right. All right. So onboarding for a week, man. Wow. Uh, yeah. What's what's the uh, what's what's the drug test uh, protocol here? Here, follicle or urine? Uh, well, be- before you ever go to onboarding, they'll send you down to uh, get your physical and drug test and all that. Make sure you pass that before they, you know, fly it or wherever you're going. And they take care of you, too. They put us up in a real nice hotel. They uh, bought our meals. They gave us a $100 gift card for meals at night. Mm -hmm. Uh, The hotel had breakfast in the morning. Uh, It was a really, you know, I've I've been this, ooh, I've been to some bad orientation. You know, it's like, here's a a piece of bread and uh, some water. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> that bread and yeah. water. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, you know what I mean? It's, oh it's man, <laughs> that boy said bread and water and enjoy yourself. God <laughs> damn it, man! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so they got so so before you know they if you already have your DOT physical, they'll send you back for another one. Yeah, they want to make sure you pass with one of their you know, one of their doctors or whatever. And that way you got a two-year card. You do that. You do have to have hazmat within, not to change from the the medical, but while I'm thinking about it, they give you a chance. I think it's 90 days to get your hazmat. Mm -hmm. We don't haul a whole lot of hazmat, but we do have some from time to time. So that's one thing a lot of guys are worried about. Oh, I don't have my hazmat. Well, they give you a chance to get it. You just have to get it within, I think, it's ninety days. What if, so, what if, what if you're not able to get it? Would they, they let if you? If you're go? not able to get it, then, then yeah, they'll let you go. You can come back, and I think it's six months or whatever. If you got it, you come back and uh, reapply. I think they give, you can come back in six months or something like that. Uh, somebody may want to call HR and ask them for. I get some hater on there going, "No, it's not." It's I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Uh, but I think. It's six months. What so? What about uh? What about the drug test though? Did did they take a hair follicle test or did they do both? No, both urine, urine. Oh, just urine. Urine test. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So my man, now you now of course you got into Walmart. You 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 did you have to go out? Did you still have to go out with one of their you know one of their Walmart trainers before they actually? let you go or you was able to get into a right. truck right after you uh, right after onboarding no, no you you go to onboarding you go to a, another class for that's three days i think i think they cut it down when i first went it was five days i think they cut it down to two or three days but it's basically it's going over all the paperwork and the nuances and showing you how the warehouse works showing you how the stores work Mm-hmm. Showing you how to approach a lot of the stores, okay. uh, just just that kind of stuff. Going over the hazmat again, uh, you know the general kind of stuff. Then you go with a trainer, one of the CDTs, and basically what they're doing is they're showing you how to run the tablet, and once again approaching the stores. Because man, sometimes these stores can be really really tricky. And somebody said, oh, what's so hard about getting in a store? Go to some of them and you'll find out. Yeah, and, yeah. And I, I used to I used to do Walmart lows for uh, yeah. U.S. Express. Yeah. Some of these, especially the neighborhood stores, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, neighborhood Yeah. <laughs> you oh know my, that. Oh, my God. So. Yeah, I trust me. I do know. Um, yeah. So, so Max, man, how, how do you actually feel about, you know, two years in, how do you actually feel about working for the company? I wish I'd have done it a long time ago. I'm, I'm just telling you that right now, straight out. I heard so many rumors and so many, so much false information. And I mean, to me, I'm treated fine. I'm treated with respect. I haven't had one person holler at me in two years, even when I made a mistake. You know, I, I made a mistake one day. My people net flaked down on me or something, and I picked up a trailer, and I went from Las Vegas up to McCarran empty, and I was supposed to have gotten a load of water. But I didn't see it on the people net, and Gary Zook, he had a little bit of a, you know, what did you do? But he didn't holler at me. He didn't scream at me like some other places I worked, you know, like, hey, you're a dumbass. Mm-hmm. No, none of that stuff. They, they, they treat 
treat you with respect. Uh, our GTM is great, Bill. He's uh, the man has been doing his job as, as the traffic manager for I think thirty some years, and guys know him all over. Man, if somebody sees me come into Loveland or something from from Buckeye, they say, "Oh man, hey, you tell Bill he hired me back in you know." 1992 or something. I mean, they love this guy. You know, he, he's a great guy to work for. You can call him up anytime and ask him questions. I had a deal the other day with some skateboarders behind the store, and I wasn't quite sure to, how to handle it because I didn't want to go call the cops on him, but they weren't going to leave. But right. anyway, so not to change it. So you, you, you're telling me some good parts uh, about the company, uh, uh, you know, and the, co- and the stuff that you enjoy with the company, man, but – Come on, my G. What, what's what's some of the cons? Oh, what's some of the stressful parts, man? They got it. Got to be it. Got to be something. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it got to be something. A lot, of, a lot of times, it's it's working with the people in the back of the store and respect. It, mm-hmm. It's uh, I have this huge thing. If, if your radio dies and you got to ring that doorbell back there, so many times they'll ignore you. They just leave you standing there, or you got to walk around the store. And in case the other day, it was a strip mall, and I had to walk, you know. Literally, it's like walking the block. country. It's like walking the country yeah. mile, ain't it? Exactly, exactly. And and the thing that really aggravated me was there was two people standing at the dumpster that were about 10 feet away from me. So you know damn well they heard me ringing that bell. And then... I had another person to the right that was over there stocking or, or getting something off the shelf. All three of them ignored me. So then I, I walk around the building. Of course, I'm a little bit heated by that time. So I, I get imagine. in and I'm trying to tell the team lead that, hey, you know, this is disrespectful. And no, I don't want to hear it. I, and she didn't want to hear anything I had to say. Wow. So I had to end up calling my ops people and get with them about her. So that that is one of my biggest aggravations is that type of stuff. Okay. Is the disrespect. Okay. But, it's know, not. There's it's, no it's, it's, job. it's it's not wearing the uniform. <laughs> oh no, man. That, that that don't bother me, man. I wore a uniform for you know ten years, so eleven years. I, no, I, I it's not the uniform. I give two. You know, whatever is about that. I, all these guys have worked up about, you know, wearing a uniform. Well, some of these guys need a uniform because they're still wearing that damn T-shirt they had from high school, and now they're a 3X and not a medium. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and their stomach poking really up out of the T-shirt, shirt, looking like Homer. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to look at your damn belly button lint. Put on the proper size shirt and change the damn thing every once in a while. You got... 14 shades of grease on that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come on. Oh, man. Yo, so, Matt, man, if I'm interested, you know, if, if I'm interested in driving for uh, Walmart, um, what what do I need to first uh, – what, what do I need to first do before, you know, before anything? Because I know Walmart, well, they, they don't have – you know, they straight company, so they – they they don't have nothing to lease or anything like that. So what what should I what should I look for or what should I do uh, before uh, if I'm interested in 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 thinking about getting with Walmart? If somebody's interested in Walmart, you got to have I think it's thirty clean months of driving. Uh, you know I don't know about the felony convictions, so don't quote me on that one. But I. There may be something with that. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an expert on that part. Um, just ha- basically having a clean record and, and being a, a decent person. You know, you, you cannot go into D.C. and talk like you're at the truck stop. That would get you fired. Oh, okay. You I can't go in there dropping. You, yeah, you cannot go in there dropping f bombs and cussing and and throwing a fit at, at dispatch. Well, they're not called dispatch. They're called coordinators. But you can't go throwing a fit at them. Uh, funny story, I got I got kind of angry at the city center one night, and it was just a, a total cluster. And I kept trying to get Lori to listen to me, and finally I just cut her off. I was like, just stop. Stop talking. Stop talking. 
And I felt so bad about it. I bought her a, a bag of pistachios. You know, I know what she likes. So I bought her a bag of pistachios to kind of make up to her for it. But it, it was, uh, you know, it's that type of stuff. You can't, you can't go in and cuss and holler and you got to have a decent attitude. Uh, you know, what else were you looking for? I kind of got off track there. Okay. That story that's, and like, that's, that's what's up, man. <laughs> uh, what about what what about um what about hold on I'm I'm, I'm trying to think what what about uh, what about the difficulty like how and, and I heard and of course I heard from uh, a lot of drivers that 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 got in with Walmart and didn't get in with Walmart so how difficult it is to get with Walmart. Well, like I said, it, it's basically having all them ducks in a row that they're looking for, and then uh, you know passing the onboarding. There, it's just that was the biggest thing. A lot of guys failed the onboarding. It's just amazing to me how many people how many passed that. Process. How how many guys fail after the after the drug test? <laughs> That's what I oh, want to know. Yeah, that. I, that I don't know because they don't even make it to the onboarding part. So <laughs> I, I have no idea. That that makes you want it too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, well, okay. So you're on with Walmart two years deep, man. What what kind of benefits that uh, Walmart offers you guys? Uh, you know they've got the health health benefits, dental benefits, the short term disability, which I had to use because I my back went out on me, so I was out for about three months. They pay you seventy five percent of your average daily pay. Mm -hmm. uh, they they have uh, life, death. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. They're, uh, they've got long term disability. We've got the four hundred one k. The four hundred one k is is nice because uh, after a year, they start matching you up to six percent. So, you know, every every payday, I'm getting an extra, you know, two three hundred bucks. Okay. You know, from them putting into my 401k. They've got stock uh, stock purchase program. You know, I put a hundred bucks a paycheck into that. So okay, uh, okay. So what's you know, it's, uh, so I got a two part question. So what's the yeah. average? So Y'all, do you 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 guys get paid by the hour, by the mile, percentage, and what's oh. and what's the average? Uh, what's the average pay? Okay, now this is going to depend uh, and vary per location, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'll give you I'll give you a buck guy. I'll give you myself. Now, last year I made ninety four thousand, and I was out for that period of time I told you about, and. The other guys that were on my rotation, I was on a six and two schedule, and all those guys that were on my my rotation made over a hundred. Now six figures at Walmart. I found yeah, the company yeah. that does yeah. six figures, yeah. and it's Walmart. <laughs> what? Yeah, and got they 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 advertise on the radio eighty five thousand is what the average you know, first year driver will make. And I, I almost hung up on the recruiter because he said 49 and a half cents a mile or something. And I was like, dude, how am I going to make 85 grand at, at 49, 49 and a half cent a mile? Are yeah. you serious? He goes, he goes, he goes, slow down. He goes, let me finish. Mm. He goes, you get paid for every drop. You get paid for every hook. You get paid for every live load. You get okay. paid for every live load. Unload. Okay. You get paid for stop. You oh. get paid detention time after forty five minutes at fourteen dollars an hour. Wait, 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 wait. Forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, you got to give them forty five minutes. Now, this is one of the other things you were talking about that I don't like. I don't like having to give them the forty five minutes. I, I think you know, I, 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 shit. Forty five minutes is golden, considering the fact that I got to give some companies yeah. two or three. Yeah. Shit, right, 45 right. minutes is golden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's 45 minutes, and then you go on the clock. And uh, break down, if you break down, you're on the clock. You know, so an example, the other day my truck wouldn't start in a stall when I went to start my day. So I automatically, boom, I went straight on the clock for breakdown until they got the truck started. 
so I was able to load my truck and everything else while I was waiting for them, and I got paid. Any training you do, any any uh, meetings you have to go to, uh, say they, the safety man wants to talk to you for, you know, the ops people want to talk to you for 30 minutes or 45 minutes, have their yearly or annual, whatever. You get paid one-tenth of your ADP. So your average daily pay is based on, I believe it's 16 weeks. And then they break down what you made every, you know, daily. And then they pay you. So like mine right now is about 35 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. if, you know, if I was to uh, have to go to a meeting or something like that. Um, oh, man, I was, just, I was just thinking of something. I was going to tell it. Oh, your vacation. You know how a lot of these companies... <clears throat> You know, they'll give you a week's vacation after a year, and then mm -hmm. they throw you 500 bucks and they give you that same piece of bread and water that you had at orientation mm -hmm. and tell you to have a good time on your vacation. Mm -hmm. No, at Walmart, your vacation or paid time off is based on your work performance. So every week when I go, I'm down to 120, I think it's every 120 hours. I get a day off. So I go out every two weeks and get a day off. These guys have been here forever. They're down to like 60 hours. Every 60 hours, they get a day off up to 42 days, I believe. Plus, wow. every quarter, you can earn a safety day. So wow. like this year, me and the wife, we went to Dallas for – and I was, on, I was on a six and three at that time. So it turned into a 12-day vacation. Went to Daytona Beach, went down there for 12 days, and we're going to go to Sedona here pretty soon. So it's uh, the, the paid time off policy, and I did a TikTok on that one too. It is just, to me, pretty damn amazing. Wow. Now, of course, reading through the comments on that, everybody's got a better program than Walmart, but <laughs> I don't know. I've been in the industry long you know the comment section on on these social media man is just is 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 it's a full happen of up and down that's that's what that is right. man walmart man i mean wow All, already six figures already a good pto vacation yeah. i mean I, I mean you know it's just a matter of just getting in with the company and then just Bam. Do you see yourself retiring from, from Walmart? I tell you what, I'll be here until they fire me. Uh, there you go. There you go. Uh I, I and I'm assuming I'm I'm gonna assume Walmart's uh turnover is not that high. They they percentage, they turnover percentage is not that high. Not not very high. Uh you've got now what a lot of people are oh they can't keep any drivers over there. Oh, look what they're doing. They're having to scrape from the bottom of the barrel. They're really needing drivers bad. Really? This is a this is a this, well, this is what these guys are saying. Once again, it's the comment section. Mm -hmm. But this is the reason. It's a twofold reason. You got a lot of guys that have been with Walmart 20, 30 plus years. They're retiring. They're leaving. And it's not the Walmart that they had originally signed on to. Things have changed. It was super. I mean, they were they were kings over here when they first came on. Mm -hmm. But that's part of the reason. And business is booming. We're the ecom is is exploding. We're building. Matter of fact, we're building here in the Phoenix area. We're building a brand new ecom center over off of uh, the three hundred three. You've got. Two big e-commerce centers down in Chino, California, and, and I'm just talking about our region. And, and you're getting them all over the country now because the e-commerce is really exploding. They gave us some figures the other day, and I, man, my head is it's a rattle trap of information. I can't keep track of some of it. No, I can <laughs> imagine. They were giving us, they were giving us the numbers on how much the e-com has taken off and our this, uh, you know, people coming to the store and picking up their groceries and one thing and another, and the business is just booming. So, Matt, so man, <laughs> I mean, it's it 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 sounds like uh, it sounds like a like a hell of a party over there, man. What what about Walmart? Yeah. Would they would they would they help drivers 
get if drivers don't have their CDLs, would they help them? Like you know, like Amazon help their help their employees get their CDL. Will Walmart do the same? Now this, this is something I, I've heard through the grapevine that they've been kicking around is is talking about possibly doing something like that. But right now, no, you got to have your CDL. You got to be clean for at least thirty months. Oh, okay, that's what's but up. I've heard, I've heard they have they have kicked that around about having their own type of a school or something. But you know that's not set in stone. That's maybe out in the future somewhere. What about what what about uh did did they give you now when you came in there did 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 they offer you or did they give you a sign on bonus or do they have referral bonus after you get on or yeah. what? They. Right now, at certain locations, they've got sign-on bonus. I heard like St. James, Missouri is one, and there's some other locations that they're giving guys up to, I think, $8,000, you know, sign-on bonus. Okay. And, it's, and like I said, it's not because they can't keep drivers. There's been 50 drivers hired since me because we're expanding so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we went from, I think, 200 and some drivers to now we're at like 260. You know, so they're they're putting on a lot more drivers due to the business demand. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. What about uh, yeah. what, what about uh, what about uh, referral? I mean, would you do you guys get uh, referrals? A re yeah, a referral bonus. It, it used to be fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, I think you got like five hundred when the person got through onboarding, and then six months later you got the thousand dollars. But now. I heard the other day on a computer it may be up to five thousand dollars. Oh, that's what's so, up. But they got they yeah. but but the people that y'all bringing on, y'all y'all have to they they actually have to pass the onboarding in order for you to get yeah. in order for you to get the money. Yes, they have to pass onboarding. That's what's up, man. Uh, now, as far as the trucks goes, I mean, we don't have to get into too much details about that. But do they have a do they have a dash cam that that a driver facing camera or or what what do they have in the that, truck? That, that camera is turned off, and you're allowed to put tape over it if you don't trust the fact that it's turned off. Oh, okay. So, like on my, I've got a I've got tape over the one in the ta on the tablet and the one that's uh, outward facing. Now, on the inside, I'm saying it's not. You can't mess with the outside of the camera. That'll get you fired in a minute. <laughs> oh, you know what? You just, oh, you just, my G, you just, you just hit me to something right off the rip. You say you got the tape over the tablet. That's right. They can, not to say that they can, you know, but yeah, they can access the tablet, can't they? Oh, interesting. I, it, it, if the possibility exists, and it's not that I'm doing anything wrong, but I don't want anybody looking at me in there. Right. If they, and that's the other thing that's, that's wrong. There, there's not some secret room at Bentonville where they hired 100 people to sit around and watch drivers pick their nose. But the camera goes off if you have a hard break or you have a cab roll, you know, you go into a corner too fast and the cab rolls over past a certain degree, the camera will go off. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, somebody cuts you off. And you can also push the camera yourself. I mean, I've had some really close calls where I wanted them to see what was going on and, you know, hit that, I think it's, light, is it Lytex or however you pronounce it? Uh, it's a uh, Lytex uh, light, light uh, light driver yeah. assist, uh, driver yeah. cam. It used to be drive right. cam so, back in the day. Yeah, right. So we've got a button in there we can actually push. All and right. uh, so... Yeah, but they, no, there's no driver facing uh, cameras on, and it's just outward facing for now. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Max, man, thank you very much for coming on, bro. I really do appreciate the Hold time. On. 